Hi, Timothy Ungert here. In this video, we're going to download and build from source Emacs 28.1 on a Chromebook. If anyone's interested in the specifics of this Chromebook that I'm recording on, it's basically a $200 Chromebook, Acer Chromebook from Walmart. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to go look for Emacs 28.1.tar.gz and click on that and download that. Okay, so you'll see it's downloading and the download is complete. Let's just click show in folder. Now you have to have Linux installed. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just cut this and move it over here and paste it into my Linux files. Okay, so that's done now. And now what I wanna do is I want to make sure everything's up to date. So I'm going to type sudo apt update uh, two ampersands for and sudo apt upgrade. And I'm going to go dash y so I don't have to enter yes. Okay, now that it's run through, it's everything's updated. We got to install some prerequisite packages that we can use to build Emacs and that Emacs needs. So uh, what I'm going to do, let me make this larger for you. Uh, go down to the settings here, um, and I want to get the font larger now because this stuff you'll need to know. Okay, so let's go to 18 here. That looks good. Let's clear this out. Okay, so I'm going to type sudo apt install. We're going to do build essential because we need a C compiler. Make um, lib n curses slash dev mail utils, uh, and then a few other packages that I need to look up. So we have to make sure, let's see, installing GTK3 on Debian. So I got to find the package name. So I go to the gtk.org documents, scroll on down here, and yeah, I need that package, the development package for Debian slash Ubuntu. So I'll go up here. Uh, paste that in. No, we didn't copy it. Copy it. Paste that in. Uh, well, this is not cooperating, so let me type this again. Uh, lib and curses slash dev. What do I have to type? I don't know why it's not copying. Lib gtk. Lib gtk. Dash three dash dev. Okay, now we also need some other packages here. So let's go to my bookmarks. Got a lot of stuff bookmarked here. I'm going to scroll on down because I'm actually going to a stack overflow post here. And I'll leave this stuff in the description. I should probably leave a list for myself and make me make it easier. Uh, all right, so we go to this stack overflow post. And if I scroll on down, this answer. We need all of these. So I'm just going to go here and copy these and go here and paste these in. And um, then I'm going to just say dash Y. So I don't have to answer yes. It's going to take about 411 megabytes, this stuff. Now, some of the stuff that you download, like Build Essential, you probably could get rid of it afterwards. But again, you know, most Chromebooks have enough room this stuff. So I'm going to let that install and we'll come on back. Okay, so now we've installed that stuff. So I'm going to clear this off, just list out. Um, and we have that tar.gz file. So what I'm going to do is do tar zvxf dash zvxf. And then I'll just tab to complete that. And that's going to unzip everything. So I'm just going to hit enter and let that unzip. It's going to go ahead and unzip all the files. Okay, so now let me clear this again and list out the storage. We'll see we, in that blue we have the Emacs-28.1. We want to change into that directory. Okay, and now we want to run this command configure. Uh, you have to have a dot forward slash and then configure. Hit enter. As you're doing this, you'll probably come up with a few errors. Don't worry about that, or at least didn't bother me. 
uh, everything seemed to work fine. Um, I built other versions of Emacs and got those errors as well. Anyways, I'll come back once this is configured. Now, this is giving me the message you might want to configure with mail utils. Um, I could do that, uh, but for right now, I'm, I don't really use it for mailing stuff. So anyways, I'm just going to run the next command, which is make. Again, you might get some errors. Uh, don't worry about that, or at least I don't worry about it. Um, so I'll come back after I run this command. Okay, so the last thing we'll do is run sudo, sudo make install. So I'm going to type, let me clear it up for you. sudo make install and hit enter. And it's going to take a moment. It might take a little bit longer because I'm recording and we're almost there. This part is generally fairly fast. Okay. All right, so I'm going to change out of this directory into my home directory. This is storage. We can remove the both of these uh, at this point. So I'm going to do that. And let's close this out. Go down to my launcher here. And you see we have Emacs client Emacs. I'm going to click on Emacs here. And it's going to take a moment. Okay, and there we go. And keep in mind I am recording, so it's slowing down a little bit. Uh, so here we go. We got Emacs installed and it's pinned to my taskbar now and we are ready to go. You can write your init.el file and configure Emacs the way you like. But we have Emacs 28.1 on a Chromebook. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like as it will help get out to more people. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take it easy.